You're bound to say it at least once during a two-week series on Japanese technology, so go ahead. Now's a good time. Domo origato, Mr. Roboto. This is a human being. The exoskeleton he's wearing is the robot under the Vanette Scuba University. It's called Hybrid Assistive Limb, HAL for short. And anyone who wears it has potential to lift up to 10 times the weight they normally could. It depends on his original power because uh, this robot suit is controlled by the, uh, the assist ratio. Uh, for, for example, usually we set about 50% uh, or uh, 6% or 70%. If he, if he is a very weak person <laughs> at that time, the assist ratio is ninety percent. So at that time, you <laughs> you said that's before ten times. Hal works by figuring out what the wearer's muscles are doing. The suit then simply reacts. Command signals from, from the brain uh, to transmitted to the muscles uh, through the motor neurons, and we can uh, detect such we can detect such kind of. Uh, very faint bioelectrical signals on the surface of the skin. And this, uh, these signals are calculated in the computer here. And after that, the computer controls uh, these power units. So he can uh, move or he can uh, upgrade his uh, power. And believe it or not, sometimes the suit interprets those electrical signals more quickly than the wearer's muscles. In other words, it moves before the human muscle does. And the next big test for Hal comes this summer when a Japanese physical therapist will actually carry one of his patients, a polio patient, all the way up to the top of a mountain in the Swiss Alps. After that, the challenge will be helping people who've lost control of their limbs climb on their own. One of the patients uh, who come to my laboratory uh, loses his legs. So now we are preparing, uh, we are developing for his uh, artificial legs by using these technologies. Developers expect when the suit becomes commercially available, they hope within the next few years, it'll likely cost somewhere around $20,000. Adam Balkin, New York One.